All right, so in this video, we will be talking about, um, we will be solving um, a word problem involving polynomial function. So we have this kind of problem, um, and let's analyze this. Suppose that the total number attendance A in 1000 at NCAA women's basketball games is modeled by the polynomial function a equals negative 1.95 t cubed plus 70.1 t squared minus 188 t plus 2150 from year 2000 to 2018 where t is the number of years since 2000 find the attendance for the year 2009 all right so we are going to solve this um and uh, let's illustrate this first in a graph. So here's the graph, and and we have the t uh, from year 2000 to 2018. So that that means there are around um, 2018 is. 18 numbers um, we'll just make it around multiples of 5 5 10 15 5, 20 all right so the year 2000 so basically it this means that the year 2000 is here the zero okay so because this is T equals zero, that's the year 2000. So this one. And uh, at year 2018 uh, is year 2018. Okay. So because the T is the number of years since 2000. So that means this T equals five, it is 2005. And T equals 10 is 2010 and so on. So it's asking for find the attendance of from for the year 2009. Now let's picture out first how the graph looks like. So the graphs uh, the graph says it's negative 1.95 t cubed. Okay, so let's erase, erase first some of the writings here. And um, since it's the leading coefficient is a negative, that means we're gonna start from the bottom. Right, so for sure, uh, it's from year 2000, so probably we have x equals zero. Probably, at uh, it, we will just assume that at year 2000, and then the rest of the 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 t equals zero. I mean, not um, and not x. It's using t. So, what is the value of t that will make a equals zero? Is we are not sure. So we we'll just assume that it's somewhere here. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. All right. So what we are sure is there are three t values that will make the a equals zero. That means there's the attendance is. Uh, Close. Uh, it's it's no attendance. Okay, it's it's just simply zero. We don't know the reason why, but that's how the polynomial function says. So that means since our leading coefficient is negative, so we're gonna start from the bottom and going up, and then we're gonna cross the x-axis, then cross again the y, across the y-axis. And then the x axis, sorry. So it will cross the line, the x axis, three times because it is, again, a degree of three, meaning the highest exponent for the literal coefficient is three. So we're gonna, it, it will cross the line, the x axis, three times. But we are just estimating it. We are not sure actually where, which t equals it is crossing the line 
we're just estimating. So we're not sure. Anyway, so we are going to, uh, the problem here is to find the attendance for the year 2009. So we can estimate that um, since this is, uh, this is year 2000, so that means 2009 is somewhere here, 2009, where t is equal to 9. So t equals 9, and we're going to solve for that. So, uh, as I said, since it's just an estimation of the graph, so we don't know if it's a negative, I believe that's going to be uh, impossible for it to have a negative uh, value of the attendance. So let us solve it. So let's rewrite the equation. A equals negative one point attendance or A was negative 1.95 T cube and then plus 70.1 T squared and then negative 1.88 T uh, sorry negative 188 T not negative one point, so it's negative one hundred eighty eight t plus two one fifty two thousand one hundred fifty negative one point ninety five t cubed seventy point one t squared one eighty eight t plus two one fifty. All right, so we are going to solve uh, the tendons or a when t is equal to nine, because it's nine years from year two thousand. So negative 1.95 t cube or 9 cube plus 70.1 t squared or which is 9 squared minus uh, minus 188 times 9 plus 2150. So the 9 cube is equal to oh wait. So we're going to compute for 9 cube, 9 times 9, times 9. 9 times 9 times 9 is 729, uh, 70.1 times 81. Minus 188 times 9 plus 2150. And then we're going to multiply 7 on 1.95 times 729. So it's negative 1421.55 plus 70.1 times 81. So five six seven eight point one and then one eighty eight times nine. So minus one six nine two plus two one fifty. So we are going to combine it together, but we will do it uh one by one. So negative one four two one point fifty five plus five six seven eight point one. It's positive 4,256.55. Then we're going to copy the rest. And then uh, minus 1692. So it will be 2,564.55. And then copy to 150. Plus... 2150. So it will be 4714.55. Okay, so uh, the answer for this is 4714.55. Okay, so is that the, the final answer? 
not yet. Now you have to understand, although you, uh, mathematically speaking, we're gonna have, we have that exact answer, but you have to keep in mind that these attendants are all humans. So you cannot have a 0.55 of a person. So what you're going to do is to round up. Even if it's 0.1 or 0.2, you always round up when you're talking about a person because that 0.1 is already a part of a person. So you have to always run up when you are solving something like this. So just an approximation of the answer, 4,715. Again, you cannot have a decimal if you're talking about a word problem that involves person or, or human or animal because you cannot have a portion of only a portion of that. All right, so that is the final answer.